Hello viewers. Welcome to this series of tutorials on how to design a report using Microsoft Power BI. In today's tutorial, I'm going to explain how to use a tachometer in your report. A tachometer is a very useful visual that makes graphical representation of the data in a Power BI report more informative and appealing. However, the method to display the data in a tachometer is not as simple as in case of a pie or bar chart. For example, if you want to display the maximum temperature of the major cities in the world, you cannot do that using a tachometer because the dataset will have multiple rows or records that correspond to different cities. The tachometer in that case will aggregate the data such as maximum temperature of all cities or average of all cities which is not what we want. To display all the cities in this context, we will need individual tachometers for each of the rows in the dataset. I am going to take a test case like this and show the steps to use this nice looking visual in your report. First, let's start the Power BI application. Step number one, download the tachometer visual. It is not one of the visuals available to you by default, so you have to download it first to use it in your report. So this is the list of visuals that is available to you. You will not find tachometer here by default. So we have to uh, add it to this list by downloading it. You have to use these three dots there to download. Let's click there get more visuals and this brings up this window where we have to search for the tachometer so it gives a list of different tachometers and uh, for simplicity we'll use the first one we click add and it has been successfully added the tachometer is added now we'll add this tachometer to our report click it brings the tachometer to the left top corner and we'll bring it to the middle now step number two the data set in my database I have a small table named YouTube subs that holds example data about number of YouTube subscribers from three countries. So I'll connect to the database using Toad just to show you the query and the example data. I am connected to my database and here I'll construct the query first. Select country subscribers from YouTube subs and it gives me three records or rows one from USA second from India third from UK so USA has 5,000 subscribers India has 10,000 UK has 7,000 and we are going to display this data in a tachometer copy the query and let's construct the data set here in our Power BI report. So I have explained how to connect to the database, how to create uh, the connection and uh, how to input the query in my previous videos in this series. If you have not watched those videos. I urge you to go and watch those videos so you, you will have a better understanding on the contents of today's episode. So here I'll go to the get data option here, click more, database, Oracle database, connect. put the query there 
click connect click ok and my data set is ready I'll click load and the query one is loaded here so it has only two fields country and subscribers to put the subscriber here in the value field uh, the other fields available are start value end value target value range to start value range three start value and display filter but if you see my data set i don't have enough values to populate here so by default when we put the subscribers in the first this value field it takes a default display which is not exactly uh, displaying everything that we want now we need more values here His, you see that the tachometer has a list of properties here start value end value target value range to start value range three start value and display filter but you will not be able to directly specify these properties here if you click there it will not give you any option to put the information there so it is expecting those values to come from the data set itself so somehow you have to bring those values here in the output of the query so that you can use them to set these properties so we are going to modify the query so we get all the required fields that is needed to fully display the information that we want to be displayed in the tachometer so now let's go to our query and modify this the things that we need are start well in well target well these are merely a uh, names of the fields we'll put some values there shortly then we need range to start range 3 range 3 start see we don't have range 1 start here because the state start value is the range 1 start now we'll put appropriate values to these additional fields that we just added to our query the uh, start value will be zero the start value will be zero end value will be 100,000 target value will be 6,000 range to starts at 10,000 Now range to start will be say 5000 and range 3 start will be 10,000. So the USA has subscribers 5000, start value, end value, target value, range to start. These are just like repeating fields where the value is not changing but we have added these fields just to make sure the data set has all the required fields that we need now we'll take this query to the power bi query and we'll modify it click done that is permission run and our data set is ready close this save it it will take a few seconds to get all the information required and they are here Now we have all the values that we need to populate its to populate its properties 
first start value we'll bring the start value just like drag and drop in value target value range to start and range 3 start now it is still not displaying what we want actually as we put the subscribers there it's aggregating the number of subscribers to display the sum of all subscribers which we don't want here So what we have to do, we have to put filters and the first filter will be based on the country and we will select the USA. Now it is displaying the data that corresponds to the country USA. We will go to the formatting options so this display becomes more meaningful to us and it looks nice. Now let's go to properties. What is range one? Our range one should have a, a red color instead of the range three. And our range two should have a yellow color, which it is already taking. and range 3 should have a green color we'll select green there and the range 3 is green let's make it a little bigger now we'll set on other properties of this visual a target which is 6000 is displayed here in between 0 and 20000 and this should be a little bigger they will display the target in red color and the size of the value will increase then axis levels will be dark black display units none we don't want the K there and there should not be any decimals so we'll put instead of auto we'll put a zero there and all the decimal places are gone now we want to make the font size a little bigger okay so the next property out value that is here we want to display it in a deep blue color none precision will be zero so this this value actually is representing the country that we are considering here That is the USA then title so this title is not what we want here this must be changed so in this field we'll put USA bring it to the middle the font size and make a little bold let's set the border property here so that it looks clean yep now now you see this particular tachometer is displaying the data from the country USA and there is a filter set at the page level 
to display the data from the other countries we have to make some arrangements here first of all we have to set the filter at the visual level not at the page level so we'll click there we remove this filter from here and instead we'll put a filter at the visual level now we'll select USA there and this is now complete I'll put it towards the left so that we can make some room for the other visuals now we'll make a copy of this visual to display the data from the remaining countries we select it copy paste place side by side another copy paste place side by side and the second one will display the data for say UK now we'll go to the filter instead of USA we'll set UK for the third one instead of USA we'll put India so now our display is complete and if we want to display the total value of all these individual countries one more thing we need to modify here is the title for the other two countries select the second one go to properties and the title will be UK for the third one the title will be India Now if we want to display this uh, as a total of all countries, the total number of subscribers from all the countries, then what we have to do, make another copy, paste, say this is for all the countries. All we have to do is to go to the filter option and select all the countries so and yeah of course we have to change the title accordingly title will be all countries and a header my YouTube subscribers and our report is complete I hope you enjoyed my video and liked it and if you really did please don't forget to hit the like button thank you